Okay, so my name is James Williams Jr. This is Confab number two. I want to talk to you guys about the Me Too movement. Alright, look, I'm not out here to put women down. Let me get that out the way first. Clear first and foremost. Let me get that shit completely out of the way. I'm here because I do support women and I support the Me Too movement. But I think y'all might have overreached. Alright, I'm not saying you've gone too far. I'm just saying. You may have overreached, because now the Me Too movement has started picking on um, the, uh, what the hell is her damn name? Yeah, I can't think of her name. Um, the um, the actress, the girl singer. I can't think of her damn name. I can't think of her name, but um, Katy Perry. So they're giving her, her a hard time for kissing two or three contestants on... Um, the new American Idol or whatever. Like, look, I've posted things like this before about women because nobody hates women more than other women and I know that's a concept you guys don't want to swallow. But I've come to find out that that actually is a true fact because other women have told me nobody hates a woman more than another woman. Now, I don't know if it's a jealousy issue or who's got the tighter um, hoo-ha and who... Uh, can have sex better, or like the song says, um, she can fuck you good, but I can fuck you better. I'm sure you guys have probably heard that song. It's a really great song. Not just because it has something to do with sex, but it's actually a pretty good song. I don't know the name of the singer. She's a hot redhead, but we're not going there. The Me Too movement has had a positive and a negative effect, all right? I am scared to even say hi to a young I'm scared to help a woman in any way, shape, or form. I'm honestly, truly, guys, scared to even look at a woman and speak to her. If a woman drops her shit in front of me, I'm scared to even volunteer to help her out of fear that she might say I'm trying to rape her or molest her or do some shit that's going to fucking end my fucking life and ruin it forever just because she may have dropped some groceries and I want to do the gentlemanly thing and give it to her. But the Me Too movement has made it virtually impossible for good and decent men to even speak to women. And y'all may not believe that shit, but I'm telling you the goddamn truth. I, I've seen I seen a woman the other day that looked like she could use some help. And because of the Me Too movement, I kept going forward. And that's not who I am. I normally would help someone in distress. She had a whole bunch of stuff, and I was in school. I was going to take a placement test. In fact, it was like, either, what the hell is today? Today's Wednesday, so it's either... Yesterday or Friday or last week. But let's say for the sake of argument the other day because I don't want to tell a lie because I don't remember what damn day it was. But I know I went to school. I think she was a teacher. And she had all this stuff. And she did get to a, a spot where she could put the stuff down. And I kind of wanted to reach out and help. And then I thought about it. I was like, nah, you know, that Me Too movement is like really out there. And, um, I don't want to have someone say that I did something that I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the Me Too movement may need some boundaries on what actually is and what actually is not acceptable. You know, because if you can say hi and get um, a harassment charge, that's completely unacceptable. You may have never done nothing to the person, but you just said hi. Or you want to help somebody that's a lady that's in distress, and you can't because... You're afraid that the Me Too movement's going to come down on your ass or the Time's Up movement or whatever the hell. And you ain't got nothing to do with Hollywood because I'm an independent filmmaker. And that shit could come back to bite me in the ass like, well, and by that time you tried to help me get this stuff, I seen you looking at my cleavage. No, no you didn't. But, you know, it's, it's something as small as a glance now that can get you in trouble with this Me Too movement. I'm not Harvey Weinstein, all right? In any of my independent films, I've never made a woman, or a man for that matter, do something that they didn't want to do. In fact, I would not let them do the shit that I would do. You can just ask anybody. It's like, no, my, my, in my film, safety is the top priority. You know, I'm not going to ask you to do something that I'm willing to do because I don't really care what I do to me as long as it's a good shot where I can't ask someone else to make that commitment. You know, especially since most of my independent films were being made with people who just want to work and were working for free. I can afford to feed you, but I can't afford to pay you because uh, the 555 five, five deal works on pizza. 
and you can always go to the store and get a big ass Pepsi and you get a list of what everybody likes to eat and drink and twenty dollars can carry you really far in a cooler of ice on a movie set. You know. So but um no for the most part I'm so afraid to speak to women on any level, even saying hi, you know, if I talk to female students in class, you know, but only when they speak to me. I don't prefer to talk to them out of the fact that I don't want them to say that I tried to harass them or get them into bed or some shit like that, you know, because my little James Williams Jr. cards are all over the place, and I haven't even gotten any calls or anything, but, you know, for this channel, yeah, I, would, I pass them out because I wanted to make comfy movies. I wanted to get all the stuff that I could do out there. And um, the Me Too movement has kind of put a, a rock and a hard place on me, even considering to make any more movies that involve me casting girls or anything. So I'm like, yeah, you know, um, I don't think I can make a movie anymore if I have to cast a girl for it because I'm scared she's going to say I was trying to get her in the bed to get her in the damn shot. And that's not cool. So really, we need to cut back on so that the good people who aren't harassing chicks or doing stupid shit you know, can actually say hi to a girl without going to jail. I'm going to leave it right there. I want you guys to think about that. Has the Me Too movement, like, made it harder for other people? Well, let me rephrase that. For us men only, like, for decent men to speak to girls. Was it just me? Am I overly paranoid? Am I overthinking the damn thing? I don't know. But still, I do think that the Me Too movement has overreached. I'm not going to say it's gone too far. Because things can go too far. But I will say it has extensively overreached. Alright. I'm James Wimsey. It's Comfort Number 2. Be. See you.